What's up guys, Benjamin Watts here, and I'm with the cast of the highly anticipated Amazon Prime TV series, Fallout, based on the epic video game franchise by Bethesda. Ella Purnell, Aaron Motten, Walton Goggins, and Kyle McLaughlin, welcome to FanFest. Hi. Hey, thanks, thanks for having us. Nice to be here. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a baseline question, which is hands up if you've played the video games. Attempted. Okay. Was attempted. It attempted. Yeah, attempted counts. I went in, looked around, and then said, no, I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I'm too old for this. <laughs> well, uh, we're living in this kind of golden age of video game adaptations to entertainment. Obviously, The Last of Us was the last big one that kind of kicked off from the video game genre. So I'm curious, when you're working on a video game adaptation of this, does it feel any different? Like, do you approach it differently, or does it feel different on set? Uh, the reasons why the reason why video game adaptations have become so popular is that's where some of the best stories uh, are. It's such an immersive, four-dimensional experience. My my son is a big a big gamer. I, I don't game at all, and and I see him and I watch the way he consumes this entertainment. And yeah, there's action and all the rest of it, but he's not in it for that. He really is in it to be immersed in the world, and it's the spaces in between where the story really takes off that he gets the most out of the experience. And so the only reason that we're here is people have been attempting to do this, and some succeeding and some failing for a number of, of years, right? But always establishing a beachhead and uh, what works and what doesn't work. And now, you know, here we are, what, 15, 16, 18 years later, something like that and uh, to where you know the, the stories have evolved in a way and, and are, are so good people are able to execute them you know and uh, it's a uh, it's it's cool it's just a, a great form of storytelling mm. <laughs> well for those of you who haven't played the game being on set and seeing it all come to life did it kind of have you going what kind of game is this I mean, for me, Twitch was huge. I was watching Twitch streamers play because I was like, let me see what the professionals do. <laughs> and let me see what they enjoy about the game as well. So I don't know, that first, those first days on sets were actually more like, how incredible that they actually made this, you know? Um, something that looks pulled directly from it, you know? It's, it's that detailed and that specific uh, and that faithful. Do you ever go through any kind of lore, and I don't mean like lore as in law, the, the law, uh, lore school, where it comes to a franchise this big, or is it everything le just laid out for you in the script? Was it like that for you, Kyle? No, I think everything was, was there, and I certainly, when I walked on set for the first time, which was in the vault, and saw what they'd created, I had a great appreciation for the authenticity. And this, you know, with a very, very, very brief familiarity with the game, but you could see that this was something that they were treating with a great deal of respect. Mm. I think uh, for the fans in particular, recognizing that these, this, they care about this game a great deal, they care about the world of this game, and far be it from us to sort of take advantage of that or, or belittle that at all. I think it, it's quite the opposite. I think we embraced it and said, hey, let's get in here as far as we can. And I, I saw that across the board between all oh, the actors, the, the production, the directors, everybody was on board to make this experience as close to what the gamers would feel as possible and hopefully attract a whole new range of audience as well who then may in turn get more interested in the game so it could be a whole cycle. As our audience knows very well Todd Howard is the creator of the Fallout series now did you ever get to meet him and I'm curious did he just want to tell you more about the games and get you into that world and did you ever have that kind of connection? Uh, what's funny to me to hear you ask that question is actually Todd spends all his time being so pleased with what we are creating. Um, and you know, that all comes from this umbrella, you know, Genesis conversation that he and Jonah had about, you know, taking on this, this uh, challenge of adapting that material. Now the game Fallout is this open world where you kind of experience it all, kind of as you explore, but with a TV show, it doesn't really work the same way. So I'm curious, what can you tell fans that, like, what are the main themes you feel like you're exploring in the series? One thing that Jonah had built into the script with, with Geneva and with Graham is that so much of the game, as you just said, is predicated on choice, right? And you're faced with these, these dilemmas, these, these choices. And, and not just the, the four of us, but we all uh, in, in this story are constantly faced with choices. And, and on like, like a moral scale, some will be the erosion 
of morality and some will be uh, infused with regaining some bit of your humanity, you know, and, uh, and that's very, very, very similar to the game. So in some ways you're kind of playing it without playing it, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I actually want to ask you, Walton, about the experience of playing the ghoul, uh, the bounty hunter gunslinger. What's that like having to put on those kinds of prosthetics and then like seeing yourself after in, in, like, in the finished cut? What's that experience like? It was one time when we were in Namibia, man. I was so exhausted and I had this stuff on and, I, and it was these little trailers, whatever they had in, in Namibia. And I, and, I, and I woke up from this very strange nap and I and I happened to be sleeping in front of this mirror, and I woke up. I was like, "Oh my God, God damn!" Like it really freaked me. I freaked my scared the shit out of myself. Is what I'm saying. It was, uh, pretty, it was it, pretty scary to look at. Pretty too. scary. Right. It was exhausting. Yeah. On my side. Well, on that note, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us here for Fan Fed. You can all check out the Fallout series on Amazon Prime, April 11th. Thank you guys. Thank you for having us.